Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be really fun to show you guys how I style jean shorts. These are my favorite shorts right now. I'm loving the slightly longer denim trend. So this is basically just how I style these specific shorts and just denim shorts in general. I broke it down between a couple categories to wear, so like basics and then how to kind of amplify basics and then bodysuit and I featured a bunch of trends right now so like pastel colors, cardigans, blazers, they're all in this video. Let me know what you think about it. So if you want to see how I styled my denim shorts just keep watching. So for my first outfit we're gonna start with the basics so this is a super simple white cropped tank top from Pretty Little Thing. I have this in a size 4. It's super form-fitting and flattering but it's not too tight and it pairs really well with the sneakers. To elevate it a little bit and make it a little cuter I added this pink bandana and this black shoulder bag. The next outfit is super similar to the first one. It's again a cropped tank top, but this one is gray and it has a more obvious texture. It's kind of like woven and stretchy and because the top has a noticeable texture, it makes the outfit just a little bit more noticeable and I guess put together to me just slightly more elevated than a very basic white tank top. Then I threw on a black blazer from Pretty Little Thing and sometimes you know it gets breezy windy whatever in the springtime so this is a good way to be a little bit warmer a little bit covered up but still it looks seamless and it just kind of adds a little bit more of an edgy put together chic look and i put my hair up just so you can see the jacket more and my hair is not interrupting the black of the jacket with my really dark hair i also love pairing blazers and more like put together pieces with sneakers. The next outfit is this really cute white t-shirt tank top. It has a cross neckline which is super flattering and feminine and like shows off your collarbones and your chest a little. This was actually my mom's so I'm not sure where it's from but I'm sure you can find it pretty much anywhere. The neckline it makes it a little bit more elevated than the first basic top that I showed you. I paired it with that same shoulder bag from Brandy Melville that's black to give it a little bit more contrast. But you can also put on a blazer as well. So I paired it with this long blazer jacket that's kind of a light dusty blue color and that's from Loft. I think that's super cute together and it really complements the colors. Then for a lighter option, I have this purple lilac lavender cardigan from Forever 21 and it looks so cute with this top and the shorts and I switched out my Jordan 1s for this pair of white heeled sandals from Shopo and I love this look. I think it's so cute. It completely embodies spring to me. It has a pop of color but it's still really simple and cute and not too loud or too much. For me at least, I stick to white, black, gray so this is a way to incorporate color but not overwhelm the outfit. The next one is super simple. This is just a cropped black t-shirt from Zara. I paired it again with those Jordan 1 mids and I chose a brown taupe shoulder bag from Brandy Melville. It's the same one as the black one but this one is taupe because it kind of interrupts the black. I didn't want to pair the black shoulder bag with the black top because I wanted a little bit more contrast. The next one we head into t-shirts. I took this white Nike t-shirt and it says Nike with the swoosh in this light baby blue color which matches the Jordan 1 lows that are in the UNC colorway and these blue colors look so good together because the sneakers are majority blue. I like that it's paired with a white top that is majority white with the accent of blue. I just think it looks so cute and I would wear this all the time and it's you know a little bit more casual than a cropped or super form-fitting t-shirt <laughs> next this is another t-shirt but i styled it a little differently so i tied it up and it's also like a bright color so this is a yellow stussy t-shirt i got this from urban outfitters i think the color yellow looks really good with those jordan one lows switching up a color and adding color or 
changing up the tones of the kind of clothing you wear a lot can really transform your outfit. The next one is another basic. It's a t-shirt, but this one is more of that jersey tank top style. It's like a deeper gray and it says girls in this really cute font that reminds me of softball. And I think this is a really sporty but really cute and feminine look because I tied it up on the side of the t-shirt instead of the front and I think this way it's a little tighter, a little bit more sexy, but still really casual. And I paired it with my Nike P6000s and it's on that, you know, dad softball vibe, but in like a cute, girly, sexy way. Next, I have another t-shirt, but this is a crop t-shirt. This is more your traditional short sleeve t-shirt. It has a V neckline. It's by Tommy Hilfiger. It's gray. I thrifted this. I think it's so cute. I think because the top and the shorts are so simple, pairing it with those blue Jordan 1s looks really good. The next outfit is again super simple and this is just a cropped white tank top with two little angels on it from Urban Outfitters. Angels are super popular so this definitely goes with current trends right now and I think it's really cute and casual. My next outfit's focusing on patterns and different styles of tops. So this is literally just a scarf that I love that's my mom's and I tied it in the front and so it's super feminine, a little revealing, but really cute. And I paired it with these heeled sandals from Pretty Little Thing and that same shoulder bag from Brandy Melville. I love the way this looks. I think it looks so chic and feminine, but then you can also pair it a different way. And I tied it now in the back, so it looks more of like a bandeau type of vibe. So this is a little bit more covered, but it's still just as cute. This is what it looks like when you compare the two ways of tying this top. I think when you look at them side by side, you can see one is slightly more casual and one is a little bit more extra and really kind of elegant, chic. So finding like a really, really cute printed scarf that you like and just tying it like this looks really good. And I definitely think it's an easy way to make a cute outfit. Next, continuing on a still simple but elevated cropped t-shirt. This is an animal print off the shoulder top from Pretty Little Thing and it has a tie detail in the front which makes it even more interesting as well as the lettuce trimming on the top of it and the sleeves in the bottom. I love this top. I think it looks so good with those same cute heels from Pretty Little Thing. I think this is super casual, but it's again more elevated than the t-shirts in the beginning because it's a pattern and because the top has a couple different textures and additions to them that make it a little bit cuter. So I love the tie in the front. I think it's super flattering. It's form fitting, but it's not too tight and I love it. And I paired it with that shoulder bag from Brandy Melville. The next one is really on trend. This color green as well as cropped cardigans are everywhere right now and I am obsessed with this trend. It's super comfortable. It's feminine and flirty but also like appropriate and cute. So I really love it. I love it with these jeans. I love the colors together, the green with the blue. I wore those same heeled um, sandals and I paired it with that same shoulder bag and it's super cute. I tend to leave the bottom button unbuttoned but you can also button it too and it looks just as cute and I love this outfit. The next outfit is again another cropped cardigan but this is another trend that I've been seeing everywhere and this one there's only one button and it's a little bit more exposed. It's super feminine. I love the lettuce trimming all over it. It's super soft. The ribbed gives it more of a texture so again it's slightly more elevated than just a basic white t-shirt. I paired it with those same heels, the shoulder bag, and this cardigan and the cardigan before are both from Shein, so they're super affordable and really cute. My next outfit is really simple. This is a bodysuit, so I'm going to show two different bodysuits that are pretty different from each other. So this is just a black bodysuit from Zara. It's really tight and it has a not like a complete cow neckline, but it's like on the verge of it, you know, like it's a little bit slouchier at the top and it's a little bit more interesting than just a regular black tank top. I paired it with those same heels, so I like the black on the top and the black on the bottom and the denim blue shorts just being a color to make it more casual. Next, I have my second bodysuit, so this one's obviously different. It's 
lace and it's sparkly and it's baby blue but the baby blue still looks so good with the darker denim blue jeans and I also paired this with these white heeled sandals from Shopo and I think this is super cute I think this one might be something that not everyone's comfortable wearing but if you are I think this is so adorable I love wearing lingerie with pants and skirts and just wearing it out because I think if you wear it the right way it doesn't even look like that intense but that's just my preference and then to cover it up a little bit if it's breezy or you're not completely comfortable I threw on that same long blazer coat from loft it's also blue and I like all these three different tones of blue the denim shorts the jacket the top I think those blues complement each other really well and go seamlessly and then with the addition of the white heels I just think it's so cute and very spring appropriate and I just would wear this outside if I could because it's adorable for my last outfit this is where you could wear more of a statement top so this is a very I don't even know how to explain it but it's like a see-through kind of mesh swoop top and I wore a mauve lace bra under it and it looks really good together it has a cute little accent tie on the side and this is a way that you're still wearing the denim jeans and they're making it casual but you have this statement top and I paired it with these chunky heels that I got from this brand in Soho and it's called Melissa and they're really cute I'm pretty sure they're sustainable they smell like bubble gum and they're so cute Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. That was how I style my denim shorts. If you liked the outfits or you had a favorite, let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear about it. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe. If you have any ideas for videos in the future, please let me know. I'm really excited to keep filming and I really enjoyed filming this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!